Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Prodigious Mind and in this video, we are going to learn about server-side template injection. Like what is server-side template injection or SSTI, how to detect this vulnerability, why it occurs, where to check this vulnerability in web applications and what can be achieved by exploiting this vulnerability. In the end, I'm also going to show you a demonstration of this attack on a vulnerable web application installed on another Kali Linux machine on my local area network. One more thing, if you guys haven't subscribed this channel, make sure to subscribe it for watching more informative content about cybersecurity and programming related stuff. Share your thoughts or suggestions or anything you want to ask in the comment box below. Also timestamps and other resources shared in this video are in the description box below. So feel free to check them out. Now without further ado, let's just get started. So what is server-side template injection? Well, server-side template injection is a type of injection attack, as the name suggests, which exposes the web application to several attack vectors. Basically, this depends upon the vulnerable template engine the web application is using. By saying vulnerable template engine doesn't mean the template engine is vulnerable only, but rather how the web application is dealing with the user input to provide the dynamic data means the code is vulnerable or the vulnerability can be present in a specific version of the template engine. So the reason why SSTI arise in web application is very simple to understand. There are different template engines written in different programming languages like Twig, Smarty, Jinja2 used by web applications to optimize the code or to offer different functionalities. But handling the user input in an unsafe manner may lead to expose the web application to this type of vulnerability. Like embedding user passed raw input without further sanitization or filtering into the template code makes the web application vulnerable to server-side template injection. Like in this code, user passed input is directly passed into the template code. I'm going to show you a demonstration of this attack a bit later on a web application which is using Twig template engine and will show you how can you detect this vulnerability as a web penetration tester or a bug bounty hunter in web applications and further exploiting this vulnerability how can an attacker manage to achieve cross-site scripting, HTML injection and even compromise the complete server by remote code execution or a reverse shell. Now as I explained earlier, SSTI is a server-side attack and exposes the web application to several attacks depending on the template engine. Most people mistake this attack for cross-site scripting and the reason for that is like XSS, this attack also carried out by injecting the payload and then the result is reflected in front-end source code. But XSS is a client-side attack and only depends on the client-side scripting language like JavaScript itself. By exploiting cross-site scripting only, there are so many things that can be achieved but that all are restricted within client-side environment like defacing of a web page, stealing session cookies, etc. But by exploiting SSTI, whole server can be compromised by getting a reverse shell or remote code execution like I am going to show you in this demonstration. Let's just move to the last part of this video and see how this attack works. So we have this XVWA vulnerable application. It's a good application for practice several type of attack on your local host or local machine. The link to download this web application is in the description box below. And if you encounter any error by installing or configuring this web application, just let me know in the comment box below. So this web application here is using Twig template engine and is vulnerable to server-side template injection. So we have this input field which will do our evil work and will help us to get the reverse shell on the target machine. First I will show you how can you detect this vulnerability by passing different payloads and reviewing the result. So if we pass our name everything seems to work just fine but what if we trigger or try to pass some different stuff. So here. As you can see by passing an expression, our payload is evaluated like a math expression. It wasn't supposed to evaluate like that. So here based on this, we can know what template engine the web server is using. 
now we already know that this vulnerable application is using twig template engine from the hint but let's just forget about this for a moment let's suppose we don't know what template engine is used at the back end now how can we detect or find out the template engine so for that we have this approach we can try to pass these expressions into the input field and based on the result we can know about the template engine so i have a list of payloads which i copied from this repository this is a great repository for learning and web penetration testing resources and about different attacks i have also included the link of this repository in the description box below so i have a list of payloads which i am going to use to automate the process in order to find the template engine and to exploit this attack using bash command First, let's just encode each payload in URL encoding so it will not mess our terminal because of containing some special characters. For that, I'm going to use my tool. The link to this tool is also in the description box below. Now let's just encode the payloads and save the output in the new file. So now we have a list of encoded payloads. Let's just execute this command. It's a simple command. First, we are looping through the items in the list, then passing to the curl in get parameter. Then we are simply filtering the output as the output line will always contain term hello. Then we are printing the coded payload value in a new line. so here is our output as you can see this expression got evaluated that means it either ginger2 or twig template engine Now let's just create another list of payload for exploiting the vulnerability. We will copy the payload from this repository and we'll do the same.
as you can see here this payload worked like a charm and now we know how can we execute the system commands using this particular payload and gain the complete remote access of the target system but first let me show you how cross-site scripting and html injection can also be achieved using server-side template injection So here we use the system command as the operating system used by the target machine is Linux. So we just acquired the script tag and inside it an alert box. Although it can be anything but just for demonstration I used alert box. Now using this same idea we can inject HTML code like this. Now let's just get a reverse shell by executing the system command using the same payload. As you can see, I managed to get the reverse shell of the target machine on my system. That's how much critical server-side template injection is. Sanitization or filtration of the user input before passing the user input to the template is a good measure to prevent server-side template injection. Thanks for watching this video. If it has been informative for you and you enjoyed it, please give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. We'll meet you again with another cybersecurity or programming related content. Till then, take care and goodbye.